making sure San Diego children see themselves in the books they read. It helps her to know that she's beautiful. Up next, the teacher ensuring local children of color can connect and be inspired at their school libraries. Books are vital for children to spur their imagination, but it can sometimes be hard if they can't see themselves in the characters. ABC 10 News is committed to looking at issues leading to inequality in our community. ABC 10 News reporter Cassie Carlisle introduces us to a teacher, making it his mission in one of our stories for change. Tansy Campbell didn't see diverse faces in her classroom libraries. It wasn't until high school that I started seeing books that had people that looked like me and started getting into uh, black authors like Toni Morrison and Maya Angelou. Inequity third grade teacher the Kyle Luciani saw in his own, own collection class last class year. I noticed almost all characters are either animals or white. It's not just San Diego classrooms with this disparity. The 2015 Collaborative Classroom Diversity Review Book Project showed 59% of books in more than 200,000 classrooms across the country had white characters, and about 90% of authors were white, making children of other ethnicities feel invisible or insignificant. Licensed psychologist Dr. Michelle Carcel. I certainly take this to heart. It, it, is, it is so important to identify with others who are like you and you can see similarities and that you can also see diversity as a welcoming thing. Mr. Luciani went to work adding to his library, seeing an instant change in his students. They love them. I mean, I don't think they're always aware of like, oh, it's someone of color, but it's cool seeing them like just drawn to them automatically. Books Tansy believes will shape the future. I think it gives them confidence that they're the center of the story. I think that it shows them that a hero can look like them. I think it gives them um, like stories of their background that they may not have known before of their history and their culture that maybe they didn't learn from parents or grandparents. Cassie Carlisle, ABC 10 News.